I think ambassadors in particular uh, have had the opportunity to travel around India. That was the way we, we engineered the G20 process. And you would have also seen that uh, in the last year, the interest that Indians have shown in the world in international issues, in issues concerning the future, future of our planet, uh, our own future linked with that. That's really been extraordinary. So uh, we have, therefore, two reasons to, to today to, uh, to be, uh, I would say, satisfied. One, that in the totality of global diplomacy at a very difficult time in international politics, actually G20 was a big plus on the positive side of the global ledger. And the second, that it has made a country, a society, which is today uh, the fifth largest economy, which in many ways is globalizing at a, at a very rapid rate, uh, it has made this society far more connected uh, with the rest of the world. Now, uh, as we bask in the afterglow of the summit, uh, I'm often asked saying, okay, you know, it was a great show. So now that the smoke is cleared, tell me what did you really get done? When I look at what we got done, and to me the four or five key takeaways were the action plan for the SDG, which directly fed into the SDG summit which happened after the G20, the Green Development Pact, uh, the message of woman-led development, the support for digital uh, public infrastructure, the life mission, the lifestyle, uh, sustainable lifestyle, lifestyle for environment. At the end of it all, there was a very strong sustainability, green, global south image that came out of the G20. And that is why I feel today that the ceremony that we will be uh, uh, commencing after this is a very fitting way really of of marking this G20 that this this G20 we would like it certainly to be remembered as a green G20 as a sustainable G20 uh, in many ways as a G20 of the future and a G20 which honestly uh, would not have uh, delivered the outcomes had it not been for the entirety of the G20 membership. So uh, today we meet uh, partly to, to mark these achievements, uh, but from uh, uh, our perspective, uh, I would also say we meet to thank our fellow G20 members, without whose cooperation all of this would not have been possible.